Coming up on this episode, Copenhagen Friday Night Skate, and another useful online resource that effectively helps you plan your journey across Denmark. Hi, I'm Sabina. Hi, I'm Li Yuan, and welcome to MyDenmarkTV.com. This episode of MyDenmarkTV.com is made possible by GoBookAtable.com, a popular online restaurant booking site that helps you to quickly reserve a table online in Denmark and other cities across Europe for free. And when you use GoBookAtable.com, you're supporting MyDenmarkTV.com. So thank you. Okay, let's go to the first segment. So, Liwan, what's up for this week? Actually, I went out this week to explore a very interesting event here in Copenhagen, mm -hmm. which is Copenhagen Friday Night Skate. So, here we go. Hi there. As you can see, I have found a new and a green way to explore the city. I'm standing right here at the Sobia Place, where the Copenhagen Friday Night Skate is going to start. In the background, there's a huge crowd of people. They are going to hit the road. If you are a road skating fan, this is definitely something for you. It's, uh, you know, there are so many people together and uh, it's funny to go over to uh, Nuihavn and uh, every people uh, wave, wave to you. Yeah. So, so it's it's yeah. very safe. Um, it's very safe. Yeah. You, you have the police in front and, uh, and, and in back, so, uh, so we are cowards. We have some different themes every yeah. time. Like, yeah. uh, today everyone has to wear green and <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what is the challenge to, to organize this event? Sometimes it's to get the blockers enough, the, those guys, and uh, sometimes it's uh, flying nurses, and sometimes it's people who don't stick to the rules, and we have to be nice to keep them in, in the good uh, uh, spirit, but yeah. still uh, follow the rules. Why do you want to join this event? Because, uh, yes, I'm not so specially interested in very big events, but uh -huh. it's because of my friends. Okay. And now I'll have to join my friends. So it's more socializing, yeah? yeah? Yes, so have fun, yeah? yeah? Okay. Thank you. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the Copenhagen Friday Night Skate. It starts from April and runs to September every year. So this month, tonight, is actually going to be the last Friday of this month. But in August, the 6th and 20th, there's going to be another tour. So you can definitely join it. As you can see, there are some green men in the crowd. That's because tonight the theme is green. So there is only one requirement. You have to wear something green. The event is for free and you can just join it and there is no uh, registration rules. So you can just come, get your road skate and hit the road. Wow, that was amazing. Luan, I'm thinking, do you want to go join me doing that? Yeah, let's do that. Great. Yeah, it was fun. So should you. So now let's go to Made in Denmark with Vladimir. Hi, I'm Vladimir. First of all, I want to thank you, as well as all our Facebook fans, for providing a continuous feedback. In this episode, I'd like to tell you about a nice tool that I use nearly every day when I plan my short or long distance trips in Denmark. It's called Reiseplanning.dk. I know that we've covered this resource in early episodes already. However, what I would like to show you today is some of the newest and latest additions to the service. Now, Reiseplanning.dk is a trip planner. The reason why I like this website is because the guys behind the Plan team made it so simple, and I mean very, very simple, that when I plan my journey, I don't need to think about how to actually use the service. I simply type in the start and destination points, and the site suggests the best journey options for me. Now, there is also a good planning possibility for car owners, or if you are on foot. Simply type departure and destination locations under car journey planner if you're driving, or if you're walking, provide details under the For Commuter section and it will promptly provide you with further information. The site also gives you a possibility to plan international journeys under International Search. For example, type Copenhagen in the From field and Paris in the To field and you will see that it will take you about 12 and a half hours to get to Paris North. They don't, however, provide prices for international journeys but for that, you can call DSB at 45, 70, 13, 14, 15 or inquire that at any DSB shop. Now, I love the fact that the service can also send the plan details via SMS, email or add them to your calendar, such as Outlook, Google Calendar or iCal. Simply provide your telephone number and email address 
and the itinerary is shortly sent to you. Now, Isaac Planning is also available for iPhone users. You can download the app in App Store for free. Now, give it a try and let me know what you think about Isaac Planning. If you used the site before, do you like it? Write what you think about it and how you use it in the comments area below the episode at mydenmarktv.com. Now, if you like this resource, you might be interested in copenhagenclicks.com, which is an ever-growing collection of great and useful resources to take most out of your stay in Denmark. And now, let's go back to Luan and Sabina. Luan, I know that last episode you started our series about the green lifestyle in Denmark, mm -hmm. which was about our biking culture, right? Yes, I did. And it was very interesting to know the history behind the Danish biking culture and the biking mentality. You know what? Actually, I think we can call this segment Green Hygge. I like that word. Yeah, yeah let's mm -hmm. call it that. Yeah. So now let's go to Julie and see what she has for us this time. In Denmark, living green has become a natural part of everyday life for many people. We sort our waste, we throw away newspapers, magazines and cardboards in special containers. We return our bottles and cans or send them for recycling. We innovate and use renewable technology. We grow and eat organic food too. So now let's take a closer look on some facts that really tell us how green Denmark is. Denmark has a high consumption of organic products compared to other European countries. For example, in 2006, the annual consumption per capita was around 18 euros. In comparison, EU consumers spend only around 29 euros. 7% of Denmark's total area is cultivated organically in 2009, and the government is planning to double it in 2020. Very few metropolitan cities in the world can match Copenhagen's consumption of organic food. The private sector's purchase of organic food is around 23%, while 51% of all food consumed by public institutions is organic, and this is actually a world record. One of the interesting initiatives is the Project Zero, and its vision is to turn Sundarbor area in southern Jutland entirely carbon neutral by 2030. And the area aims to be the role model for sustainable buildings, intelligent energy management, or just sustainable ways of life. Well, I have shared with you some good facts today, but now let's get back to Leon and Sabina and answer a question from a viewer. This week, we're going to answer a question from one of the viewers, Khaled Esther, who writes, Hi, I'm a medical doctor from a non-EU country or Nordic country. I have already gotten a positive evaluation for my certificate from the MBH in Denmark. I'm seeking for a probation period at hospitals to get a temporary authorization which enables me to work in Denmark as a medical doctor. So how can I find an easy way to apply for such hospitals? Hi, Khaled. First of all, thank you so much for asking. Now, you definitely should check out a website called lea.dk, which is a Danish medical association. And here you can, in English, find a lot more information about authorization for doctors in Denmark. There's another very useful website. You should definitely check it out. It's called leijob.dk. On this website, you can find all the available positions at all the hospitals all over Denmark. But unfortunately, this website is only in Danish, so you should use Google Translate. Another solution is to search for all the hospitals and actually get in contact with them directly. Now that's a very effective approach, Liuan. And actually, what do you think? Do you have any other great tips for Khaled? If you do, please share them in the comment area below. And in return for asking this question, Khaled gets one hour of free consultation with my Denmark TV team. Now, I hope that was a useful answer for you, Khaled. And that's it for this week. Please feel free to email any questions you have to us about Denmark. Like Khaled, you can also benefit from a personalized one-on-one -on -one consultation with my Denmark TV team on any subject related to visiting, working and living in Denmark. So just click on the link below that says consult with my Denmark TV team for more information. And remember that there's so much more to do and see that we can ever include in one single episode. And that's why we would love to have you on one of our guided tours around Copenhagen, which can either be by boat, by foot or by bicycle, where you will see the absolute best sights and taste of Copenhagen. So all you need to do is click on the link below that says mydenmarktv.com Copenhagen Tours. That's it for this week and join us next week again, where we will share with you a lot more tips and insight about Denmark so to make your stay more fun. 
And please, leave a comment for us. We would love to hear from you. And you can also follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash mydenmarktv. And you can follow us on Twitter too. Until next Wednesday, thank you so much for watching and see you again in a week. Bye. Bye. Because she, then she's like, I was, I was like, what? What's going on? <laughs>